In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP elbow. The AP elbow should be performed with the patient seated at the end of the radiographic table with the image receptor placed tabletop with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. So I have the patient sit at the end of the table at a right angle to the table. We have a shield placed on her lap. She's gonna outstretch her arm and her arm's gonna be supinated with her palm of her hand up. We're gonna center right in the middle of the elbow joint. So I'm gonna make it more comfortable for her. We're gonna pick the long axis of her arm down the long axis of the IR, the central ray right at the elbow joint. We want to extend our collimation to about an inch on either side. We want about two to two and a half inches um, into the humerus and down into the radius and the ulna. We want to place our marker and here you will see the distal humerus, the elbow joint and the proximal radius and ulna. The patient will hold very still and then the exposure is taken. A diagnostic AP elbow radiograph must be free of motion and rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the radial head, neck, and tuberosity slightly superimposed over the proximal ulna with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. In this view, we will demonstrate the medial oblique elbow. The medial oblique elbow should be performed with the patient seated at the end of the radiographic table with the image receptor placed tabletop with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. For the medial oblique, we're gonna let her arm just kind of relax towards the midline of the body, and it's kind of at a 45 degree angle. We're still centered at the elbow joint our collimation remains the same, and on this particular view, we will see the coronoid. A diagnostic medial oblique elbow radiograph must be free of motion and a 45 degree medial rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the coronoid process in profile and the radial head and neck superimposing the ulna with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. In this view, we will be demonstrating the lateral oblique elbow. The lateral oblique elbow should be performed with the patient seated at the end of the radiographic table with the image receptor placed tabletop with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. The lateral oblique, we're gonna have the patient roll to the lateral side. It is an awkward position to hold. We're gonna still center at the elbow joint. We're rolling away from the midline, so we're rolling to the lateral side. We're gonna see the radial head and the radial neck, and we'll definitely see the distal humerus and the proximal radius and ulna. The patient holds very still. A diagnostic lateral oblique elbow radiograph must be free of motion and have a 45 degree lateral rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the radial head and neck will be projected free of the ulna with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. In this view, we will be demonstrating the lateral elbow. The lateral elbow should be performed with the patient seated at the end of the radiographic table with the image receptor placed tabletop with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. So our patient is now 90 degrees, our palm is exposed like this and we are going to turn the IR it is essential that her arm is down, um, touching the tabletop, so her arm or her elbow is in truly a lateral position. So the olecranon is in profile here. We're still centering on top of the elbow joint. We're gonna extend that collimation to about two and a half inches into the radius and ulna. And the exposure is made. A diagnostic lateral elbow radiograph 
must be free of motion and rotation with the elbow flexed 90 degrees. Demonstrated anatomy to include the superimposed humeral epicondyles with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.